This video was brought to you by Primal Driven and JDMBrand.com. What's up guys, it's Mike. So the big question is, what is Ringland failure? A lot of people have been talking about this because it's very prominent in the Subaru community. Between the years of 2008 all the way up to my car, 12s, 13s, and probably the 14s now too. So what exactly is it? Now Ringland is basically the rings around a piston. And the failure comes from cracking and eventually corrosion of the, of the rings. Um, this can be very bad for your car because you lose a lot of compression, which means your car doesn't accelerate very well and it causes a lot of internal issues. Now you're wondering exactly how does this happen? Well, it's simple. With any car, not even not just Subarus, but any car, it's just too much power for your internals or just parts in general. For a Subaru, in this case, will be the overboosting issue. So when you modify your car a little too much or a little too strong, um, your car can't handle, your internals can't handle what you have. Now, I don't know if this is a defect from the company, Subaru, or just a design flaw, but the ring line failure has been very prominent and very, very common in the Subarus, and it's kind of unfortunate. Now, your question, your question is, how do you prevent this? Basically, don't modify your car too hard or too much. Um, don't boost too hard. And how do you do that? I guess just not drive hard, and that's what people tell you anyways. You're not supposed to drive your car too hard. You know, work hard and drive hard. But... A lot of people have been saying the STIs in its stock condition actually has ring line failure. In that case, I'm going to say yes, it's a failure on the company's part of not making the internal strong enough to handle its stock power. And I know there's a lot of you guys out there that know a lot more than I do about Subaru, so please chime in, leave in the comments below about what exactly ring line failure is and help educate the Subaru community and also people on my channel about the details of how this happens or even why it happens. Always appreciate the input and always correct me if I'm ever wrong about anything because I'm definitely not a mechanic and I am new to the Subaru community as a lot of you guys are. So let me know exactly what you think about Ringland failure and also why it happens and exactly what it is. Let me know the experts. Thanks guys for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Smurf from WX and also make sure you guys check out JDMBrand.com for my t-shirt to work hard, drive hard by Primal Driven. So guys, check it out. Show, show some support. Thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you guys later. What's up, guys? It's Mike. Today I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys. As you can see behind me, it's going to be a giant Cobb box, exhaust products inside. I'm about 5'7", so it's going to be slightly shy of my height, but it's a pretty big box. So we're going to take a look at what's inside and open it up. So let's get started. One of the big things I look for when I receive a package is how it's packaged. The reason is because if it's packaged correctly, 